What up, it's Case. Hey, Case, what's going on? What up, man? Hey, Case, it's Kyle and uh, Tom from You Know I Got So. We've got a couple of people with us right now. Uh, Who do we have? We have Brian Angel from Day 26. We've got Beatbox. We've got Carvin, Haggins. We've got DJ Soulchild. We have Ed from SoInStereo.com. What's up, Case? Oh, it's a party. What's up, y'all? What's going on, man? (laughs) Chilling, chilling. Party don't start till Case get here. We waiting on you. Well, here I is. Hey Case, did you get a chance to check? Hey Case, did you get a chance to check out the rules, or should I write it down for you right now? Uh, I read through them. Only thing yeah. I understood was no Michael Jackson, no Prince, and shit like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I figured that, that seemed like that was the most important part. Yeah. So if mm-hmm. any artist that uh, debuted after the '80s or '80s and over, so if you choose someone that came out in '70 something, um, I'll just tell you to pick someone else. Um. For example, if you choose someone like uh, Bobby Brown, that only counts as his discography. It doesn't count as new edition. Okay. Um, all the artists that you're selecting, we're basing it off of, off of their prime. Okay. As opposed to what they are today. Um, we're going to get and everyone we're in all groups, right? We, we picking groups or no? Yeah, you can pick groups as well. Okay, cool, cool. That's cool. Um, we're going to give everyone about 30 seconds for each pick. Um. The draft order is based um, on alphabetical order, so the order is going to be Brian Angel from Day 26, uh, Brian Michael Cox, Carvin Haggins, Case, Ed from SoulInStereo.com, and DJ Soulchild, and Tom from you know I got Soul.com. Um, it's a snake draft, so Tom goes last in the first round, so we'll go second. Well, I mean, we'll go first in the second round, and it's going to be a six-round draft. Okay, Carver's real name starts with an R, so he should go after me. <laughs> <laughs> Word. I gave you that. <laughs> All right, and uh, right. the other thing is, uh, after every round, I'll give someone uh, participating this a chance to plug some of their own projects in, just so you guys have a chance to talk. Um, I'll start off the draft now. Uh, Brian Angel, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, you have the number one pick. All right. And this year's 2015 R&B draft pick, my first pick is going to tank. (laughs) Oh. Oh. Wait, who? Tank. Tank? Tank. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to give us a, you want to give us a reason why you picked Tank? Um. Well, I chose Tank because, like, I honestly feel like um, not only is he a phenomenal vocalist, but like he's written like uh-huh. records for <laughs> so many, so many people. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel that you know he. Is someone that still like understands what R and B is, and and uh, I, I don't wanna, I want to say nothing that's gonna like hurt me, but uh, I just feel like you know R and B right now is 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 not what it's supposed to be, and I feel like you know it sucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be real, no, be real, we gotta be real. I knew the word he was looking for. Man, yeah, yeah, I heard it hard is. Looking for. All right, so Tank's going with the first pick. Brian Michael Fox, number two. Uh, my pick for the draft will be Mariah Carey. Ooh, good one. Good one. 18 number one hits. Yeah. I mean, my, my reason really, though, specifically is that Vision of Love and Vanishing was on her demo. But that was her demo. Oh. Wow. That is crazy. <laughs> I knew that. That her, her vision, the her demo, Vision of Love was on her demo, just her and the piano. And Vanishing was on her demo. That The, the, the version of Vanishing we hear on the record was her demo. Was the demo. That's so, crazy. You got to sign You got to sign her when you hear them two songs. And obviously you've worked with Mariah as well, so you've seen the, the yep. magic in the studio. Yep. All right. Next we have Carvin with the number three pick. My pick for the Philadelphia delegation <laughs> <laughs> is 
Rashad Day. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn, in your face. Amazing, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes, Busted man. my brackets already, dog. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> wow. That's a, yeah. That one speaks for itself. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, someone just dropped out of the call for some reason. Uh, I think you may have upset somebody. I think you upset someone with the shot, A.T. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. His, his pick. All right, Case, you're up. And it was Case. That's what we lost. Case. Lost Case. <laughs> Uh, we'll give it a minute. May have just disconnected there. I mean, he got he, he got he got shook. <laughs> oh, shit, they, How do I follow shit. that? How do I follow that? <laughs> this shit is real, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have to follow Mariah Carey? Are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, my phone did me dirty. My bad. Uh, <laughs> don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. They're up, Kate. Baby face. Baby face. Oh, oh that's a good one. Wow. wow. I was going to go with baby face, damn it. Oh, that was going to be our first uh, sleeper pick. <laughs> huh? That was that was actually our uh, sleeper pick, and you took him early. Yeah, yeah, see? I got a plan. I'm coming into this with a plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we got Ed from com. Let me guess. Oh, now this should come as absolutely no surprise, but I've got to bring it to you anyway. <laughs> if I am starting a label, you have to start with a linchpin. You've got to go with a legend. You've got to go with somebody who is a guaranteed hit maker, 15 million. So the number one pick from the Soul and Stereo delegation is the OG Keith Sweat. Have at it. Hey. Oh, that's, oh, that's, yeah. my number two. He was my number two. He was always my number two. He was my number two. So you're right. You're right. All right. DJ Soulchild. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. Uh, yeah. Simply because she a good one. an all-around entertainer. She's had so many hits on her belt. She started off, well, she started off earlier than Keith Sweat. Um... She's still going strong today, despite her ups and downs, and I think she balances the line between R&B and pop music very perfectly. Oh. All right, so you know you I got to call on the spot. You left the king and queen of R&B for us for the first two picks. We're going with R. Kelly and Mary J. Oh, wow. That's who I was picking second. Yep. <laughs> you know, I got to starting off yeah, with a bang. <laughs> Tommy, you want to talk about these picks? R. Kelly, I mean, R. Kelly to me, you know, since he came out, the undeniable feel like king of R&B, just songwriter, singer, performer. And Mary J., you can't deny her catalog since the early 90s. I mean, she's just had so she many made my life. That is all. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, all, you need to, that's all you need to say. She made my life. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, that's what you – because it's fans, it's fans from the 80s on, you feel like, well, damn, you know, you cannot deny 180 million records sold from Mariah Carey. You know what I mean? Like, right, like, right. You know, if, if, if we're talking, you know what I mean, you have to be like, – I, I get the R. Kelly, Mary thing, I get it. We're talking about from 1980 right. to 2016. Like, dude, that, that's 10 years of artists you got to stand. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, that, yeah. That, that, it's just difficult for the first round because it's like, yeah, you know, yeah. I think my eight, eight, nine, ninety. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, it's tough. It's definitely difficult. You're right. I, I tell you, you're right. I tell him, Mary, you're right. You know, but it's yeah. difficult to think about that and that's in that and that light because it's that's like nineties. You know what I mean? But I yeah. Get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, we got we got a couple more rounds to go here, but uh, just to continue, we're gonna have DJ Soulchild. You're up again. <clears throat> Me again. Okay. Um, ooh, I'm going to have to go with Boys to Men. Oh, yep. come on, man. <laughs> go on. Like, did I take yours away? <laughs> go on. Yes, yes, she took my This is part of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Um, yeah, man, I mean, their discography and their sales alone, that just speaks for itself. Their discography, 
I mean, they're relevant today. They're still selling out shows everywhere they go. Um, incredible singers. One of the, no, one of the best, if not the best, harmonizing R&B group of all time. Don't get me wrong. Day twenty six is dope, man. But boys, the man was there before you guys, man. No disrespect. <laughs> All right, next we've got Ed. He's been rather quiet this draft. You pick Keith Sweat first. He's going second. Yo, I got Keith, so I'm good. Like, you know, I'm sure. But we'll, for number two, we got to go. I've got my lead male artist. Got to go with my lead female artist, and we have to go with the voice, Whitney Houston. Somebody can go oh, pop. Oh, man. Boom. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, Kate, looks like you've had a couple of picks taken away from you. Who do you have? I had like three or four. This is outrage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I had my mouth all fixed to say Whitney Houston. All right, give me a second. Uh, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, damn it. Anita Baker. Ooh. Oh, man. No, man. Yeah. She brings me joy. She brings me joy. Wow. Uh-huh. That's a good one. Anita Baker, Jack. That was a good one. Yeah. That was, that was a good one. All right, Carvin, you're up. All right. Well, thanks, Case. Thanks, thanks, man. Right on. Appreciate that. <laughs> you know, right on, I don't mind things getting taken away from me. You know what I'm saying? After the whole life. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Now I gotta go to my alternate, and it has to be Luther Vandross. Oh, oh yeah. that, was the one was my, that was my second pick. Uh, <laughs> Luther, come on, man. Luther, the greatest love balladeer. Matter of fact, his ups was even well, crazy. Luther, Luther, Luther crazy. Okay. his ups is crazy. I got a but better one. Is, not only is Ben Luther, right. you know, Luther, you, you picked. <laughs> Luther's so gay that he made a bunch of other people's songs and made them his. Right, he took yeah. he took Burt Bacharach records, remade them, and became hits. And not only that, his, the, his timing, the way he the way he flowed in his music, the timing of, of it was like progressive in everything that he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and the only other person that had that, yeah. that type of timing was a. Uh, is Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Brian Westcox, you're up. Um. Well, my second pick, I have to be. I mean, Luther was my second pick. That was that was, that was, that was definitely my second pick. But since he took Luther, I'd have to take uh, Guy. I have to take Guy. Oh. Wow. wow. Oh, that's a good one. I gotta take Guy because Teddy Riley ushered in the whole New Jack swing. Woo. You know. Yep. You gotta take guy. You gotta take guy. You know, man. You know. Hmm. And to go back I had to that one right in my back pocket. <laughs> and to go back to the person that started the draft, shocked a lot of people with Tank. Brian Angel, what's the second pick? Ah man, my second pick would have to be um Jodeci. Oh, oh. Uh, that was my next pick. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, uh, everybody. So I tried my hardest to sound like KC. Jody C is it. Yeah, yeah, Jody C is it. Jody C is it for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, Brian Angel, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll continue with the draft, but just wanted to talk to you a little bit. Uh, first and foremost, what's your strategy behind this draft right now? What are, you, what are you trying to choose from? Well, you know, coming in, you know, I had a lineup, but listening to everybody <laughs> else's picks, um, it's kind of altered. Uh, you, know, some of my, you know, some of my picks have been uh, chosen by other um, uh, teams, so to speak. Uh, so um, I've had to uh, kind of maneuver around that, but uh, I feel right now I, 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 I feel confident right now with my roster thus far. 
And then for your That's own music, away. <laughs> with your own music with Day 26, uh, just give us some update on that. Um, well, right now I'm currently working on a solo project. Um, uh, me and the fellas, we have been talking a lot lately. Um, so uh, 2017, you might be hearing some new Day 26 uh, uh, music. Finally. <laughs> yeah. All right, sir. Right. Right, Angel? You're I back will with say this, though. You know, a day 26 record ain't, ain't right would I be cocks. Just put it in the air. Oh. Just put it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on it. You know, you know, I'm on it. You know, I'm on it. You know, I got you. Know, and I'm, 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 I'm available to hang around the studio and get sandwiches or whatever niggas need. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Just trying to be in the building. You know what I mean? All right, Brian Angel. Third round. You got the first pick again. All right. Um... My third round pick, I, I'm gonna say, I don't. Well, I don't know if a lot of y'all gonna agree with it, but I don't care because uh, I think she's fine as hell, and I think she ha- has an amazing voice. And um, my pick goes to uh, uh, Kalani. Wow, Kalani. Kalani. What I, what I tell you about pitching war on the job? <laughs> wow. Damn, you know, if I'm sitting if I'm sitting behind a desk, I'm gonna need something nice to look at, you know what I'm saying? And that right there is yeah. Make a lot of noise. That's our first artist artist from the two thousand and ten era that's been chosen. Have some new blood here. Uh B Cox are up. Uh my third pick is gonna be Brandy. Oh, damn, oh, damn. Cox. damn. You took my the vocal team. Bible. <laughs> yeah, my third pick is with Brandy. Just, I mean, just because she's the vocal Bible, and, you know, if, if I could have her first album and never say never in my catalog as, as a label, you should be good to go. That was easy. That was pretty good, too. So, I mean, well, yo, she has four albums there, all four albums. First album. Mm-hmm. Did you like that? Damn, I was. Uh, <laughs> he did his dirty. He did his dirty. It's, it's okay. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. You did dirty, huh? <laughs> so you're the worst kind of person. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, this this is uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, let me think here. I got a couple of men in there. Yeah. You know, I, I got to do this because it's, it's important for me to do this. But Bobby Brown. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Bobby Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Let me I'm tell you something. Bobby Brown is the original Thug R&B singer. He is the original. He is the original. All around performer. Uh, and what I loved about Bobby Brown is the fact that he – changed the whole scope of a male solo artist when he came out. Changed the whole perspective. Yeah. Like, he, he was the, he's the R&B bad boy. Who was the R&B bad boy before Bobby Brown? There was none. There were gentlemen, uh, polite, yep. stars, True. quasars, and Bobby Brown. And I always like, tell him he Bobby niggered Rocket. up pop music. Yeah, he yeah. did. He and did. He had the little ramp. He, he did. Little and I love him for that. He niggered up pop music. <laughs> But and the way he did, but he did it with finesse because what Face and them did, they did damage to them songs that they wrote for this boy. Classic, yeah. classic, classic sounding, crisp production. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then it was Chetty perfect bought, contrast. Then Chetty bought the edge. Chetty bought yeah. the edge. Yeah, perfect contrast. Rockin' and things of that nature. Yeah. But, but Kenny and Kenny and uh, L. A. Really, really down. Now I'm saying they really, yeah. really well, yeah. thrown in, step a little step, and don't be cruel and like the right. was just. Classic sounding records, yo. But he was a bad boy, but his records had integrity. So it was like right. his, his his character was like, yo, I'm a nigga. But his, his mouth was like, but I got respect. You understand what I'm saying? That's, That's true. crazy. Very true. All right, Very Carvin with Bobby, and Bra- Bobby Brown. Case had a couple picks taken away from you, it seems. Who do we have now? That's cool. I got I got the sledgehammer right here in my pocket. Uh, Hi, you ready? Yep, yep. yep. In Vogue. Wow. Bong. Ooh. 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 Mm. Jenga, nigga, yeah. Jenga. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Vogue. Yeah. In Vogue. Can't beat In Vogue. 
We all wanted them, and they said their harmony was sick. It's it yeah, crazy. incredible. Yeah, yeah man, I, I saw agree. them as a trio in London two years ago, and they slayed that shit as a trio. And they, they were still dope, right? You know that Dawn wasn't there. Wow, wow. I would have noticed was Dawn crazy. wasn't there because, uh, yeah. That's crazy, that's crazy. You know, Dawn was my girlfriend growing up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Why, you must have been saying that, fella. Dawn was, was a file. Dawn was incredible. Maxine was incredible too. Though. Let me hear with these three damn kids, but I love it just the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed, okay. you're up. Well, since Case literally snatched the group that I was about to pick, I was oh. someone to back up though. So he got a sledgehammer, I got a chainsaw. Oh, damn. TLC. Oh. 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 Mm. Oh, I'm going to take that my fourth pick. All right. So, child? Well, in that case, I'm going to have to match that with SWV. Oh. Mm. Amen. Amen. Oh. So they're still going oh. today. Still going strong. Of course, in vocal, vocally, um, well, the harmonies and the vocals were, you know, they're, they're much better mm. than... You know, SWVs, obviously, but I think for longevity reasons and just because they're still putting out music and still touring and still killing it, I have to go with SWV. And if you, oh. drop, one of them, if you drop one of their records in the clubs today, no matter what kind of crowd it is, it still goes off. Oh. Yeah, Tom, quick right there. Tom, you know I got so. Uh, first, I want to say thank you guys for leaving the best group on the board for me. I, I thought for sure after Bobby Brown got picked, they were going to go. We're going with New Edition. Oh, man, I had a more stash. I got one. I've been saving for Carbon, but if he don't take it next, I'm going to have to pull it out. Oh. <laughs> All right, so Tom goes to New Edition. Yeah. All right, comes back to you before me, Case. Huh? Hey, Beacox. Yo. Well, you know, you made a couple of picks so far. Uh, have there been any picks that have been taken from you? Uh yeah, um, Anita Baker was taken from me, and uh, and it was another one. It was it was a couple of men's been taken. Yeah, Anita Baker was definitely taken, and Sade was taken. I didn't even, I didn't even. Sade came right out the gate. Y'all took Sade. Like damn, I should have did that first. <laughs> That's actually who we thought you were gonna take. Uh, who are you working with right now? Um, I, ironically, I'm working on this show with uh, Jai Tay. We're doing this thing with Lee Daniels. He has a show called Star. That's coming out. So we're doing mm-hmm. a lot of music like that. So it started this show starring Queen Latifah, Lenny Kravitz, um, and it's a you know it's, it's basically about this three girl group that's you know trying to make it in the business and uh, the trials and tribulations of making it in the business. So uh, John Tay's the executive producer of the music, and I've been you know just kind of like assisting in the whole coordination of it. They got me on as a consultant. So um, this you know we've been working on that diligently. Um, of course, I've been in Italy working with Mariah. The, the past couple of weeks, so that that's been some you know an interesting uh, journey. We've come up with some really really great shit. So hopefully, you know you guys will be hearing some new Mariah Carey stuff real soon. Usher's album is finished. Obviously, it's coming out in the next few weeks. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm I'm working on I'm working on new things, man. I'm just trying to work you know work with new artists. You know what I mean? I went in with this artist named L.A. Um, hopefully, I'll be going in with Kehlani soon. Um, I'm just you know I'm just trying to work on you know I'm trying to you know. Keep it out there. And I also have a company called Disrupt Media that I'm developing with Chris Hicks. So uh, it's definitely, you know, I'm out here, man. I'm out here working all the time, you know. All right, cool. All right, back to the draft. Tom, fourth round, get the first pick. Oh, now it gets tough. Uh, man, there's a few different directions we can go here, but I think we're going to go with Tony Braxton. It's undeniable. Oh. It's music. It's Come on, Tom. Still doing it. <laughs> That's our thing. I was definitely going to say Tony Braxton. He definitely smashed that one. <laughs> Came out with two classic albums right out the gate. <clears throat> All right. Uh, following that, DJ Soul Challenge, you're back up. Ooh, this is going to be a hard one because I'm going between two people, but I'm not going to say who. Um... But, um, damn it, man. Um, I'm going to have to go with Ursha Baby. 
Damn, oh. man. <laughs> Damn. Hey, people forget that he's been around since 93, man, since the Perfect Justice yeah. soundtrack. He's been killing it ever since, man. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I was I mean, leaving yeah, that I one mean, for Beacock. Yeah, I, I mean, that, he was definitely he was definitely my next pick. I knew it was going too long. The Usher's too big of a star. I knew he, that somebody yeah. was going to pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, I, have on here. I have a question for all of you on here. Do you consider Usher a living legend already? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So nobody, so nobody, nobody, sold, nobody, that. No R&B artist has sold 10 million records since he's done it. No R&B artist has. Justin Timberlake, yeah. no, no, Beyonce, no R&B artist has sold 10 million since 2004. That is so I would like for you to not call Justin Make Timberlake the R&B artist, though, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, no, <we> <laughs> I'm just asking as a friend, please don't do that to me. I as a white boy, he I consider. He considers no, Justin, himself. He's a white boy. It's not even a white thing, but don't do me like that. It's whack. It's whack. He, he considers himself R and B. You know what I mean? And as a white, I consider artist, myself well, tall. Music that. I want you to understand. As a white artist who who sold 25 million with In Sync. Justin Justin Timberlake has not yet to match the pure R and B of Usher's Confessions. You know what I'm saying? Nope. Yeah. Like he's yeah. not even. He's not even. He's not. He hasn't come close. Yeah. You know what I mean? Put Timberland. You put Timberland for real. Everybody's studio win. He has not even come close. That's yeah. the reason why I said his name because he uses. You know, he uses, behind the white face. There's there's black. There's niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Timberland mm-hmm. for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and the underdogs on the first album. And, you know, I mean, so it's like I, I, people people underestimate Usher. You know, I, I defend Usher to the to the, to the team, not only because I worked on Confession 8701, but just because Usher, first of all, is one of my favorite artists, number one. But even more importantly, yeah. people undermine what that man has done. Like, he hasn't won an MTV Vanguard Award yet. Like, what kind of shit is that? Yeah, that's because crazy. niggas don't want to give you your flowers until you're not here no more. That's, that's the culture the that biggest, is for some reason. There's not, a, there's not an artist bigger yeah. than him. Yeah, he's the new Michael Jackson. Yeah, there's not an artist. Yeah, nobody's had his longevity either. He sold 25 million worldwide with Confessions. He has a number one record out right now. Like, what are we talking about? There's not an artist bigger than him. Yeah, you know what I mean. Nobody, they're not gonna give him his flowers until he's not here to smell them. That's how they do. That's whack. That's whack. Yeah, yeah, that's whack. You know what I mean? That's whack. After Bobby Brown, there was Usher, and after Usher, there was Chris Brown, and there were many more. But Usher's one of the OGs for sure. Yeah, he's yeah, still around. Absolutely. He's still doing it. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. All right. You hate, absolutely. but you can't deny it. All right. Great discussion. Usher has been picked by Soul Child. Justin Timberlake might not get picked in this draft, but we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to go with Ed. Who do you have? I wish y'all could see, like, this flow chart that I got, because I came into this joint prepared, and you have all <laughs> snatched all my picks. My SWV is gone, my Usher is gone, my Brand is gone, my Mariah is gone, my Tone is gone, <laughs> but y'all haven't gotten this one yet. I'm going with Aaliyah next. Oh, um, nice. I had that one. Nice. See, that go with me. Just a, just a glass of vodka. Oh. Nice pick. Nice pick. Yep. Nice yeah. pick. Nice pick. Rest in peace to Aaliyah. Mm-hmm. Got a case coming up. Okay, so the gloves is off, and I just got three words to say. Amy fucking Winehouse. Oh, oh yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, like, I didn't uh, even consider her. Yeah. No, no, you yeah. to me, though. So I'm accepting all gifts for this win. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank the people. Mm. Uh, wow. Props on that one. Yes. Wow. Yes. All right, Carvin. Yeah, that was that was a low blow right there. That was that was, that was a trip. That was a trip move. Oh man, where do I go with this one? All right, so this one this is where I'm gonna go. I'd have to say, yeah, I, I, yeah, I gotta say it. Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was random. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah I have to go with that. Great pick, though. That's a great fucking pick, though. Like, that's I, great I pick. had to go with Tony, Tony, Tony. They, they yeah, shut the game pick. down when they came in. Mm-hmm. They, they did everything that was necessary mm-hmm. to 
the records that Raphael wrote, the production, everything like the hits. very, hits. very that elite. Hits. Hit, yeah, hit for that days. Hits. And playing that instruments. Hits. And playing instruments. Yeah. That hits. So. You know what's funny though? Like Tony, Tony, Tony. We're never big in Europe though. Wow. Yep. And that's surprising because you would think that Tony 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 have been huge. They would have been huge in like Europe. You thought you would think right. that like that would have been huge in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course, all the R and B connoisseurs they all know Tony Tony Tony. But um, you know, their tracks aren't bumped on the regular. Never were really. Yeah. Wow. Mm. That's crazy. Wow. All right, Cox. You're back up. All right. So. Damn, I just lost my chance. I thought I had something, and I just lost my chance. Thought. Um, so I, I have uh, Mariah Guy. Uh, who I got? Mariah Guy. Uh, and Brandy. And Brandy, yep. All right. Um, damn, let me think. I had something. I just saw. I just. I just. I just lost it. Um. Shit. Oh, Angela. Oh, I just said yeah. that in my head. <laughs> on my list. Yes, sir. Who was that? I didn't understand yeah. it. D'Angelo. D'Angelo. Oh, D'Angelo. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Oh. D'Angelo. You know, I mean, just you know, the the it, he's like the male version of Sade in the, in the light yeah. of him not you know what I mean? making records. It's taking 15 years to make a record, but by the time they get one, people are so excited about it. It's like you know. He's 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 legendary status, you know. Brown yeah. Sugar and Voodoo have been two records yeah. alone, completely. You know, you want those on your on your label. You know? Yeah, yeah. All right, Brian Angel, we're back with you. You've had Tank, Jodeci, and Kawani. Who's number four? Um, you know what? I was hoping nobody got this person, and I'm happy they didn't. Um, I have to go with uh, you know, my H Town representative, you know, the homie uh, Benante. Uh, oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. We're from the same city, man. So, yeah. It took a while. It took a while for Beyonce to get off the, the board, but she's yeah. gone. Uh, yeah. It's like cheating, though. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, if you pick Beyonce, it's like cheating. But like, <laughs> I see everybody. Else, <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I, I think that's why people think it's like cheating. Yeah, exactly. People think like that. Yeah. Like, but you might as well. Just, you know, okay, cool. I think Mariah off the I get it. I mean, I mean, like she's super, super, super consistent, man. Like, I mean, everything she, she you know, she, she does, everything she touches is, it's, it's automatic, you know. So, I mean, that's definitely why I picked her. Mm-hmm. Easy money. Nice. All right, Carvin. So, been through the draft now. We're about to go into round five. Um, do you still have any sleeper picks in mind that you're gonna shock the world with? Oh, I, I have a couple that I have in mind, <clears throat> but I'm just being strategic. We got some some really good uh, coaches over here, and, and, and it seems like everybody <laughs> is to the street. So I'm trying to make sure my team, when I put them together, is is precise and exact that we don't have no no Achilles heel on our team. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and what about upcoming projects that you have? What do you have going on? Uh, well, there's a couple things. I'm all, I'm a little all over the place, but <clears throat> I have, you know, my artist, Bria Marie. We've been developing her and, uh, uh, you know, giving her a career, giving her some lanes in the game, and it's been going pretty good. There's some, uh, there's something that I cannot talk about, but we are in the works of getting it done. And I think when it happens, it's going to probably shock the world, but uh, it's overdue. So uh, we'll talk about that. When it happens, um, also we're working on a couple of uh, movie uh, movie projects that are happening right now. One is called Ascent. Um, we're doing the movie, we're scoring it and doing the soundtrack. And then um, another movie is Girls Night Out, and it's kind of like um, it's kind of like the female version of Hangover. Um, so we're doing the music and the scoring for that as well. On the other side, just doing been doing some work with James Poyser and um, uh, working on some, some artists. Right now, Aloe Black is one of the artists we're working on. And, uh, yeah, so, that's it. You know, politically, um, you, you, y'all, I guess y'all know, but I'll tell y'all, I'm kind of politically aligned doing some stuff with 
uh, the city of Philadelphia and a couple other cities across the country because um, uh, we invented this straw as a filter that it filters your water and turn uh, whatever chemicals or anything that's in the water when you drink it, it, it washes it all out. So, wow. um, yeah, so uh, we're about to do a, uh, um, a GoFundMe campaign to buy straws for the uh, for Flint, Michigan. Yeah. yeah so, you still raging yeah. against the ratchet, Carvin? Yes, yes, That's always dope. raging against the ratchet, man. Always <laughs> raging against That's the ratchet. Dope. Because we, we need a platform. The, our artists, that these great artists and great songwriters are sacrificing their soul to write this nonsense when they know that this music can be better. And, you know, the writers and creatives, we need room to operate the way we used to, you know? I'll salute you for that, Calvin, man. Well, thank you, bro. All right, Brian, All right, Brian Angel, we're in round five now. Uh, is everyone still good on time right now? Hey, yeah, yeah. The round four. What's up? Cool. All right, Brian, number five. What do you have? Um, yo, Kyle. It's... I think I have to do round four. You got Be- you got Beyonce. Me? Hell no. Oh. <laughs> no I got. Be- well, who, who am I talking to? For round four, I thought Joe. Oh, I hate oh. You. Yeah, that's all I know. Oh, Wait, hold on. Slow child, you had Usher. Of R&B, still hold on, time up. Slow child, you had Usher in round four. Well, oh, that was round four. Those back on the table. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just texted you and told him I was sick of him. Don't do me like this. Those <laughs> back on the table. Damn. Damn. Yo, Joe's back on the table. <laughs> Yeah, so child, you had Usher in round four. Uh, so round five, uh, okay. Brian, who do you have? Uh, it, it's my pick, right? And Joe's still on the table, right? Yep. Yeah. No, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> you got the flu. No, this is. You got the flu. Oh man. Oh man, damn man. Um, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna do it. And I don't want none of y'all to like talk crazy to me after I do it. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Cisco, man. Oh, you know Cisco was on my list, man. No, that's crazy here. That was on my list. I'm not no hate. That's not crazy at all, bro. That's not crazy at all. Absolutely. I mean, you know, he's you know, I mean, definitely, you know, in my opinion, I think he's a living legend. Yeah. Okay. I beg to differ. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just got that down. <laughs> it appears we're here. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the uh, first pick in the fifth round, Brian Michael Cox. All right. So I've 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 had some difficulty because I'm like between three. Groups right now, and one of the groups for two, well, one of us for personal personal reasons, and the other two are just because it's like it's just great groups. But I, I guess I'm about to go with the personal personal reasons, just because I just I made so many records with them. Jagged Edge. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. So I, got, yeah. So I got to sign Jagged Edge. Okay. I have to. I got to produce every sure. album. I got to. Oh. Every, I have to People, so what do you say? You made so many checks with them? Have. <laughs> you said, yeah, I produced so many albums. So, yeah, I, I got I to gotta sign yep. Jagged Edge. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Carvin. Yeah, well, I was trying to stay out of this area, but I got to go into it. Music Soul Child. Oh, man. I've been sitting here. That's that's the one I was sitting there. I said, if you, you wasn't going to say it. music, music going to use on my next pick. My next pick. <laughs> if you didn't say music. No, I was gonna I was gonna hit you when we hung up. Like nigga, left it out there for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought that's where you was gonna go next case. I was getting nervous. No, nah, I was like, leaving after uh, you. Oh, uh, okay, good deal. I, I don't want him talking about you bad in the town. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Ooh, that was close, nigga. All right, Kate. So, me being Phil Jackson like I am, I'm going to take uh <laughs> I'm going to take Layla Hathaway. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. I respect it. Yes. Baby, Ooh. baby yes. don't cry. Uh-huh. Ooh. Nasty Ooh. bitch. Ooh. Nasty bitch. Yeah, cock a doo doo nigga. What's happening? <laughs> 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 you got to hit him with that Layla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed, you're up. Dad, you know I'm trying to approach this joint strategically. I got my main artist. I got my female artist. I got my female group. I don't have a male group yet, so I got to represent for my boys and go with 112. Wow. Oh. I was waiting for that to come off too, yep. Those first three albums, I'm telling y'all, put those first three albums up to anything. Mm. Mm. Boys, the men's first three do match it. Mm, that third not the third one. 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 Yeah. You're going to have to try to make that third one match up. The third one sound like 112 because they wrote the third one. No, you can't do that. Third one sound like 112. You're kind of right. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thieves in the temple, nigga. Thieves in the temple. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, DJ Soul Child, you're up. You got Usher last round. Who's it going to be this time? Wow. Um, wow, this is getting harder and harder now. Um, Joe's still on the table if you want him. <laughs> well, since hey, hey, I hey. To use... hey, hey, I've, I've got my Joe. <laughs> All right. Go. Joe's Joe. Up. Joe is off the table now. <laughs> We left them for you. We, we left them for you. <laughs> All right, Tom, you're up. Mm. All right. I'm surprised no one's taking this artist here, bro. We're going with Erica Badu. Mm. I had that next. Because yeah. she was on my list, Tom. That's why nobody picked her yet. I was waiting for her to come back around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that completes round five. Case. How do you like your yes, roster so far? Amy Winehouse, that was oh, quite a shocker. This is Amy fucking Winehouse. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's how you say that name. <laughs> yeah, I like my roster. I mean, you know, things are going as they should, you know. We're trying to – we just here to win, you know. We just play team ball, you know. <laughs> a very uh, female next dominating – next, next man up. A very female heavy roster you have right now. Well, you know, I love ladies you did. <laughs> <laughs> that's, easy, that's an easy answer to that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then with your own music, don't Heaven's, need to be Door, Heaven's Door came out yeah. not too long ago. What's, what else is going on? Um, Heaven's Door came out. Shout out to Carmen Haggins on that one. Um, I'm working yeah. on a, a new a new album that I just started last week, actually, with um, Travis Cherry. Um, actually, I'm going to do two albums. One is going to be a sex album, and one is going to be a socially conscious album. So I'm going to put them out. Uh, back to back. I don't know what order yet, but so that's where I'm going. Dope. Nice. All right, we're on, the round, we're on to round six now. This is the, this is the last round, unless you guys want to continue. We'll keep it at six. We'll keep it at we'll keep it at six right now. So this is the this is the last round for everyone. So you guys can all make your last picks. Uh, we'll start off with Tom. You know, I got so Eric Badu, and now where where do we go? Oh man. Um man. I think uh, this this is a tough this is a tough choice. You know what? I mean I'm gonna have to go with Brian McKnight. Um ah. still a great artist, still making quality music, dope live show. Oh, that's it. Um, yep. Yeah, that's show me how you put the word. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a bullet to the head. 
quality music. It's terrible. Yo, he should have named that. I don't feel like doing this shit no more. I'm good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, DJ Soul Child, you're up next. Okay. Well, since Brian is not up for grabs anymore, I'm going to have to go with Mint Condition. Yeah. Oh. They're one of the baddest groups on the face of this earth, live, as well as vocally. I mean, yes, Sophie is just a fucking beast. And I think they're really You're underrated, London, right? but they kill every live show like it's their first and last. Yes, yes. Yeah. You're in London, right? Yeah, when I come to London, I'm going to see you about taking my picks, Jack. <laughs> 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 this aggression will not stand, man. You know. <laughs> All right, Ed. Last pick. Yo, so to round out this roster, I gotta go with somebody who is young, can reach new lists, can can get those sales, those cash registers ringing, yet still true and authentic to the game. Probably a voice that is the greatest voice that's out right now, yet does not get the recognition. Jasmine Sullivan. Wow. Oh. That was too much. She was my pick. That was my last pick. Now I got a chance. That was my pick. <laughs> oh, she's been looking. And she's been looking mighty voluptuously tasty lately too. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I'm yes. my ass. She's coming on the hundred. Yes, yes. Here we go. We pitch and woo again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Case, you're up next. And uh, oh, you can also pitch yourself if you want to. But I'll leave that up to you. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not vain enough to do that. But what I will do is, uh, let me see. Should I take it easy on y'all dudes, or should I just go in? I don't know. Black Street. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. Almost picked them. Almost. Uh, almost doesn't count. <laughs> ah. Uh. All right, Carvin, last pick. Oh, man. I hate that this is the last pick because I, I think I, I got three that I love that everybody has not said yet. But out of those three, damn it. I got to go with Jelly from Philly, man. I got to. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jill Scott. Yeah, man. I had to do it. I didn't want to because there's another one that I really want, but I had to go with, you know. You got to stay got home. You you probably, we probably thinking the same one, too, because I got another one, too. Oh. <laughs> you know, Are because you trying to pitch wood at work. Um, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Ain't about doing nothing. <laughs> I guess, for my last pick, I guess I would go with someone who's, who's new, a new artist who I feel like has a has a – a gang of potential. I think that they are, you know, um, mm-hmm. you know, they came out the box. They came out the box with a great single. They have a great project out right now. I feel like, you know, they got a lot of room to grow, um, and they're going to be a huge artist. I think I'm going to go with Ro James. Yeah, wow. Ro James. Mm. 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 Interesting. Mm. Mm. Go with Ro James. Newcomer Ro James. Our boy. Our boy Ro James. So, to finish off this draft, we're going to end up with Brian Angel, who shocked the world with Tank, probably shocked Tank as well. But the last pick of the draft, Brian Angel. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, it's a no-brainer. And I'm, I'm happy nobody picked this person. And uh, that person is Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was so yeah. obvious that nobody picked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah I, no, here. honestly, yeah, yeah I, I was going to pick Chris Brown, but it was just like, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. so obvious. Like, yeah, you know, you know what he's going to be. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Name Spanky Johnson, you know, ring a bell. You, you know, when you got when you got a Bobby Brown and an Usher in the lineup, I I, I kind of don't see Chris. I see him, but I just don't see him. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. He's gone too I'm, I'm far talking about, sometimes. I'm talking about, like, people actually going out to, like, to these shows, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, from a dollar standpoint, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, you know, Chris Brown is it. He's it. Yeah. He's it. Just showing up. I just, yeah. I, I just, yeah, he's it. I just couldn't see him because we, 
when you talk about Bobby and Usher, it's just, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I, I, I feel, I, I wanted Bobby, and I, well, I got Bobby, but I wanted Usher too, but, I, you know, I couldn't just call Chris up the same time. <laughs> All right, so that concludes the draft. Carvin, just curious, who are your other two picks? My other two picks was Faith Evans and Lettucey. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Both, yeah. Man. Lettucey. We need to do a draft where I'm free to say the name Rick James at least once. Right. <laughs> right. I need that draft. I need to say right. Rick James. Fuck it. I just right. say Rick James. Fuck it. <laughs> Let him shoot me. Well, I just I'm surprised no one's picked Lauren Hill yet. That's who I had. That's oh. the other name I said I had was Lauren Hill. Yep. Uh, so influential. Lauren. Lauren was my name. You guys yeah. heard of Tish Hyman. You know what, guys? I'm disappointed in all of you guys. You guys can pick my my girl, Monica. Where's Monica? Oh, Monica, yeah. Monica. Oh, I had her sitting in the reserve. Mm-hmm. She, 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 yeah. She's on my list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we need more rounds is what you're saying. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> we'll, we'll be sure to set this yeah. up again uh, another time. But just quickly, guys, uh, starting with you, starting with how the draft started out, um, just giving a quick business pitch to, to all the listeners that are tuning in on why they should vote for your team. Right, Angel? Um, I think everyone should vote for my team because um, everyone on my team has proven themselves. Uh, not only have they proven themselves, I mean, they're hip, they're, um, they're what's in, and uh, shit, pick my team because I'm Brian Angel. <laughs> All right, B-Talk. Um, yeah, I think that, you know, my team is a good, solid team. We have some legends in there. We have uh, 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 artists that represents what the future of R&B looks like. Um, I just think that it's just, you know, a well-rounded team. And, uh, you know, check it out. You know what I mean? We got Mariah Carey, Brandy, Ro James, I mean, you know, come on, man. You know, it, it's uh, it's looking like a, a championship team. You know what I mean? Now with Andy's fucking Winehouse over here. Ah, <laughs> 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 Amy fucking Winehouse. I feel Y'all gonna be bro. Golden State, Jack. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, no. I got I got LeBron and these boys over here. <laughs> All right, Carver. Get it. Uh, so. I suggest that you pick my team because I have veterans on my team. These are like the industry standard changers. Everyone that's on my list changed the face of R&B music, Sade, Luther, Bobby, Tony, 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 music, Jill. They all changed the face of R&B when they came into the game. So go investigate. Know that I chose the right team. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I just want to start by saying I love all you fellas on here, and this is not personal. What happened to you here today? <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to I'm, I'm, hold on, hear me out now. You know, no bad blood. But uh, it's gonna be rough on y'all niggas. But you know, we we see you at the top. You know. <laughs> Ed? Not to brag, but if you're looking at the <laughs> most diverse, the most complete roster, you going with mine because you got Whitney, who's got the pop, the R&B voice. You got TLC, who is appealing to women, young and old. You got 112, that's just, and my boy Keith. We got the baby makers there. We got legit vocals. We got hit singles. We got trendsetters. Top to bottom, you ain't touching it. <laughs> DJ Social. Well, the reason I took these artists is because they're all authentic R and B artists who sort of diverted into pop a little bit. For example, Janet Jackson, but you know, for the most case, they're all authentic R and B artists and and pure, and they respect the culture. Not to say that everyone else doesn't, but I think, like for example. Chris Brown is someone who's, like, dabbled in pop a lot in the past. That's why I wouldn't consider him this list, but that's personal preference. But, um, yeah, if you want, a, like, a, a thoroughly R&B list of the past 20, 30 years, then go with me. 
That sounded like shade. So you, yeah, so you want to show shade. That was definitely shade. Right? Okay, okay. No, no, nothing against Chris Brown. And I mean, I mean, I play his records in the clubs and all that, but it's just, uh, you know, it's just like, I don't know, man. I mean, these artists I've chosen, they've paved the way for artists like Chris Brown. Yeah, definitely. We just jabbed me in my nose. Just want to tell you that. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> does it better. <laughs> It's so child. I didn't know that uh, OMG by Usher was an R&B song, but okay. Oh, 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 whoa, yeah, whoa. Yeah. Who, you know, who picked up Mario? Which has done more pop records than than <laughs> other Oh, I should have picked the Mario. <laughs> no, you should not have, sir. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, son. <laughs> All right, my turn. <laughs> He's a woman. I think. Team, you know, I got soul. We got six legends here. R. Kelly, Mary J., New Edition, Tony Braxton, Eric Abadu, Brian McKnight. When I look across this list here, I see some teams that don't have all legends. But to me right there, six legends compared to maybe four or five on most other teams. Can't go wrong there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. Oh, another artist that we forgot about was Maxwell. Oh I yeah, I, I had him in the reserves. He's on my list. Mm-hmm. He's in the reserves. Yeah. Okay, so now hold on. Now, sure. where's this? Where's these lists going now? They're going up on the site. And yep, they're going up on the site. We're gonna have the fans vote on it. We're gonna set up a poll. Uh, we'll send everyone a link so you guys can spread it to your social medias, get your fans to vote, and uh, we'll see who wins. Where, where do I collect? Where do I collect my winnings and shit? <laughs> 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 Hell, man, I'm, I need to find his meats and cheeses. <laughs> One little lot. All right, it's funny. Okay. All right, guys. I want to thank all of you guys for uh, participating in our first ever R and B draft. It was a lot of fun. Hope you guys had. You hope you guys had fun as well. And we gotta definitely do this again sometime. Hopefully with more rounds. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely man. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And it's great to be on the phone with you, legends, man. I appreciate it, man. Oh, God definitely, bless. man. I love I all y'all, man. Thank you. <laughs> all right, fellas. Uh, all right. Rick James. Rick James. Rick James. <laughs> <laughs>